Hey guys, it's Amber and I'm getting ready to do the full walkthrough of my 2023 week in life. So if you hadn't seen, I finished working on it in just the past couple days and I'm so grateful that it is done. I'm also really grateful that when I went to look at it, I already had five out of the seven Ds complete. So if you haven't seen those videos, you can go back and take a look at them. So let's jump right in. We've got the vellum opener here with the chipboard piece. And on the back, I just included a little bit of some Heidi Swap pattern paper that I used throughout the album. And as you can see, I um, put it on the back of the highlights page. I did these two things as like one of the last things for the album completion. And I love this highlights page. I'm, I just, it's not a photo size that you see often. So I just really, really think it came out cool. It's like a little snippet into what's coming. So I think that's fun. I really love my transparencies with the chipboard numbers, the vellum star treatment and the chipboard stars. It's a little thick, but I'm okay with that. And then just so that I wasn't seeing raw chipboard everywhere, I backed them all with white basil cardstock back when I originally made these, just made it look a little bit cleaner. So every day I have a really simple timeline with sticker paper. I have American Crafts Transparency. Here's what I found. <laughs> American Crafts Transparency in the um, window there. And then on the back, I have a vertical photo. I also used a tiny bit of that same Heidi Swap paper trim. I think on one of them, I was a little short and I had to, and so I ended up doing it for all the rest. It just adds a little like finishing touch and I think it looks really cute. So added tags here. And every day has a similar treatment, but it's not identical, where I cut down a nine by 12, three by four page protector pocket. I have a see-through pocket here with some transparency, one of the vellum days of the week. I like to add journaling on different um, photos just add little notes here and there. I tried to add chipboard. I went through like my stash and found a lot of stuff that had like AM PM and added it throughout. So I've got like a little AM there. Tried to use one of the pinwheel die cuts on the back every day with a piece of chipboard. So that is something that I repeated every single day. And then I added in that pattern paper here and there. And I think that the colors and the florals went really well punched it up, made it brighter. Here I added a die cut that was included and then I had included um, a screenshot from that day when Len Goodman had passed away. So it's not something I normally do. I don't do like daily headlines or anything, but um, in this case, that was kind of a big, big news day. So including some photos from work. I also did a lot of stuff in the Now Story Kit that came around around that time last year. I got my pocket here. I did not do anything on the insides of these. They're kind of really just for aesthetics. Um, I just didn't really need to. I had plenty of room in the pockets. So I tried doing weather screenshots daily. I'm not sure I accomplished that every day. Hand wrote on this journal card. And then most days I did breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a little um, photo. And then I added journaling of what it was and then stamped and then tried to include a chipboard that worked well with it. I added the day of the week chipboard with the similar ribbon every single day and then added one of these one inch stickers that made sense every day. <clears throat> um, almost every day has panoramics. I did the sticker paper journaling on here. Tried to use some more of these half sides or half color circles, more journaling, more chipboard. And then also tried to use these as homes for the larger vellum pieces as well. These were included. Um, I didn't use all of them. I think I used all but two, like learning was one I didn't need. And I can't remember the other one. Um, and then this was from the Right Now Story Kit. So a nice little shot of the house, just showing what things were looking like in the garden. And a close up of our front planters with another vellum piece. So here I've got a PM chipboard. And then every day I use one of these chipboard labels. And then I used Heidi Swap vel um little letter puppy stickers to spell out something like this just says trash day. Um, and you can see more journaling and then nighttime stuff. I always try to take a picture of myself uh, brushing my teeth. It's always a fun one to try to look good while you're smiling and taking a selfie. 
Um, and then I got a CPAP mask last year. That was new to try to help with all my headaches and poor, poor sleep. Um, so that was new. And then here we are on Tuesday. So similar treatment. Got a photo of the kitty. And here we've got watching, which I could have used for like a TV thing, but um, hashtag day off. That was an old chipboard piece so that was fun to use. Here, I couldn't um, use all of these photos of the cats. So I made like one and a half inch photos, I think. And I actually really like that I did that. I totally forgot about it. So that's a good way to squeeze in some more photos when you have a bunch. Um, since I was off, I ran out and grabbed lunch for Jarrett and I. So that was fun. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I went and got an updated COVID vaccine. And then here I used a screenshot from our ring doorbell because the guys came and mowed our lawn. Here's my journaling from that day. I tried to do different colors just to add some fun and brightness. And then a screenshot of my craft room. So at my desk, this would be my view if I turned and looked out to the right. So here I was able to use one of these uh, tags said the things I did not love about today because I had to go to the dental dentist appointment, but it says uh, dental appointment for cleaning that turned into getting a cavity filled. And then here I've got my Tuesday. I realized, uh, did I do my Wordle on Monday? I can't remember. Um, I shared a daily screenshot of my Wordle. And it's funny because I barely play Wordle now. I've been trying to get back into it. Um, now I'm playing connections and strands. So I'll be doing stuff with that. Um, trying to show myself doing chores and then I love this meme it was April 25th so it's the uh, Miss Congeniality meme weather screenshot and moving on to Wednesday just love how these colors kind of all coordinate so we've got the like uh, pinky color then that's fading into here and here so it is kind of nice sometimes when all the colors really coordinate so here we've got a shot of the cat alarms um foggy mirror with the towel in my head i thought that was really funny um tried to take a shot of the fact that i like my seat next to me because i went shopping at the mall ran to target tried to take a sh um a photo of my cart because i forgot to take anything in the aisles i never remember i always have the best intentions and then i um forget jared made dinner so we've got tacos, try to get an overhead shot of him and include him. Uh, it was raining <clears throat> on my drive. And then this was a new photo for me this year where I threw my clothes in the dryer and then stuck my, actually in the wash because they're still dry, um, set it up and uh, snapped a little photo. And then here's another shot of them being washed and me doing the folding upstairs on our bed. So laundry day. Then I ran to crumble. So we've got um, the cookies. I did little ratings here and I printed the names of them uh, before I printed it and then did stickers for the ratings. So that was fun. We went on to Thursday. Here um, I took a shot while I was grabbing socks out of the drawer. That was fun. Um, a little hairspray shot, like a little bra situation there. Um, some photos of the cats. I didn't have a good photo for a panoramic, but I was able to combine two photos. And I have Rainy Drive here. And then I've got a shot of myself at work. I was able to prop my phone up real quick while I was working. So it's always nice to have that mailbox photo, which I always love. It's funny because ours is new at Square now. Our Thursday, I'm um, going through the drive through Took a little nap because I was really tired that day. I'm showing off some of my new candles I got, watering my plants, dishes again. Jared made a great steak dinner. So it's just really nice capturing all these little moments, um, going to bed. And here you can see I did not take a photo of my breakfast. Probably was like in the dark because I leave for, I get up at like 4.30 a lot and leave for work at like five in the morning. And uh, that's probably why I took a nap. <laughs> So moving on to Friday, uh, rainy plants. Um, so I was able to take a photo in the shower, hair cream, getting ready. I had gotten new makeup that I wanted to play with. So I actually did my makeup that day, which is rare for work. So I don't care. Um, showing all the rain. This photo, Cypher, he would normally sit here and face this way, but he was eating upside down. So I uh, put that on there. Felt cute. So I took a little car selfie. 
and a little shot of my snuggle bug. That's our lovey face. Um, here's a screenshot, not a screenshot, but a shot of uh, like my rainy windshield. Um, sometimes I meet the kid's mom and I pick them up. So I was like meeting her just at a drop off spot. <clears throat> here I needed to add a bunch of pattern paper because I didn't have enough for panoramics. A uh, shot of everyone eating dinner, kid napping on the couch. And here I, um, this was from a different kit, but I included a tiny little photo in there. And that was in relating to Caitlin. We gave her surprise tickets to a Taylor Swift concert. So I made up a little thing here that was like a digital and then some different shots showing her reacting and then immediately starting to make her own bracelets so moving on to saturday this is where i just cut up recently in the past week so i think i did a pretty good job of sticking with my style it's always hard when you pick it up after almost a year so a screenshot I accidentally overslept on the way to work at work had a haircut <clears throat> watched a movie with kids Showing a uh, photo with the sink and some cool photo, uh, colors. A uh, shot of the house at springtime. Kitty snoozing. Again, didn't have a photo, so just included some more pattern paper. Shots of the kids and the cat again. The kids don't love getting their photo taken at this age, so it's hard to get them in here. Moving on to Sunday. I had way less content for these days, so you can see there's barely any. Um, as you've seen in previous videos, our house flooded that morning for the basement, so I um, did not have good photos and quit the project for a long time because of that. I was pretty sad about it. So I did the best I could, and I even had to pull in some photos from that month that weren't necessarily this day um, just to get the project done. More... Um, journaling and pen and paper and then here I included screenshots of all the things that I was watching at that time frame which is really fun I'm really happy I did that and this I completed last year as well with um little snippets of everything I still have these there's like seven in a pack and I only use one so I'll try to include one I think in this year's kit and then on the back just use pattern paper from the packaging and then in here uh, this was from one of last year's not story kits but the um can't think of what they're called but it's the four kits that were extra like the day in the life and stuff and so I just included some paperwork for like being at the dentist and um, all kinds of little things that were big ephemera but just kind of thought it was fun to tuck it into the back there so project complete so excited really really looking forward to working on the next one um the past two years were 10 by 8 size but this year i really liked the 6 by 8 album and since i haven't been scrapbooking so much i think it'll be nice to keep it as a simpler 6 by 8 so um i've got that album partially set up i'll be sharing a walkthrough soon about um my setup and i I'm excited to be jumping back in again and sharing with you guys. So hope you are excited about seeing my content. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you soon for more. Bye for now.